What up, family? It's your boy JB Trap House Boxing, and uh, you already know, man, feeding some more of his work. But uh, I just want to touch on this one little thing with uh, Keith Thurman, man. I know y'all like, damn, he coming back with another interview about another fighter. Yeah, but so what? Anyway. Keith Thurman, Keith Thurman was in the interview, and he was fight hype, and he was talking about, you know, his struggles of being a mixed kid coming up. And he talked about, you know, how he would be feel out of place sometimes and, you know, sometimes struggle with identity, but he soon or later had found his identity once he became comfortable with who he was. And he said he would be around, you know, his his uh, black side, and he sometimes he'd feel like that he was not dark enough. And same vice versa with the white side. He'd be around his white side, and he'd feel like he wasn't light enough. And, you know, he told a lot of little interesting stories, you know, about being a mixed kid and growing up in a predominantly black neighborhood. <clears throat> and... He, you know, spoke on, like, it'll be times where him and his friends would be together. And, you know, they'd be crossing the road or whatever. And he'd see someone that's white, they'd lock their doors, you know, trying to get a, you know, the alert. Like, uh, it's black people coming, we lock the doors type deal. We, we all know what I'm talking about. I don't have to get in detail, but, uh, and, you know, he was talking about just the history of, you know, blacks and whites, you know, the, you know, the, the conflict that both, you know, races had between each other, you know, from throughout the whole history of it, from slavery and everything. And, you know, he said sometimes it would be, you know, kind of hard, you know, dealing with, the two uh, issues, because he's right in the middle. And he said he'd go home, you know, he got some white mom, he got some white dad. And he said that his dad always stressed to him that education was key. And he said that's another reason why that he understands and he was able to avoid a lot of, you know, horrible situations in life because he had, you know, he, he due to his education, so to say. And which is, I understand, it's, it's a lot of truth to that. You know, it's, it's some people, uh, you know, in, in the neighborhoods that didn't have any education and they didn't really get in no trouble. They stay on the right path, but I understand exactly what he's saying, yeah. Statistically, yeah. You know, it's a good chance that you're going to stay out of trouble. But what I thought was pretty interesting because I, you know, had to have a couple of mixed friends growing up. Well, yeah, have and had. And, you know, a lot of them, a lot of guys that's mixed, uh, people that's mixed, they don't really, well, the ones I've been around, they don't really talk about you know, the the mixed issues, like, eternally, like, what they're going through, they don't really display their feelings like that as far as in terms of that that situation. And um, I thought it was pretty, you know, interesting how he broke it down, uh, you know, what he had to go through as being a mixed kid. And, you know, from the outside looking in, you know, I understand I can't feel them because I'm not mixed, but I understand because I've been around mixed. I have, you know, mixed friends, best friends in, you know, my lifetime. And, you know, just, you know, like I said, a lot of minds, they never really expressed it eternally about, you know, being in the middle and dealing with the white side and dealing with the black side and, you know, and like Keith said, you know, in this neighborhood, 
if you if you the educated black man, then you wasn't black enough. And if you uh, if you was not educated, then you was black enough. And, and a lot of times that is true in certain in most you know black neighborhoods like that. I'm not saying that it's always like that and it's all like that because it just depends on the type of people you're around who mean for you and who don't mean for you. You know? So. And, you know, that, that can just be with any individual who's just, who just not for you at all. So. But, yeah, man, that's, that's, that's all I wanted to talk about on that particular you know, for deal, but check it out. Firehop.com. Look, look at Keith Thurman's interview on his upbringing, you know, coming up as a kid. And it's your boy JB Trap House Boxing, man. Please subscribe, hit the like button, follow me on Twitter at Trap House Boxing, follow me on Instagram at Trap House Boxing. I holler.